What's going on everyone? Welcome back to 55 Fandom. Listen, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support recently. It means so much to me. Really, it does. So last week, trailers released that I have missed. So I wanted to discuss the Despicable Me 4 trailer. Now let me quickly tell you where I am ranking the Despicable Me franchise. Number 5, Despicable Me 3. Number four, Minions. Number three, Minions The Rise of Gru. Number two, Despicable Me. And number one, my favourite Despicable Me film, Despicable Me 2. So after the movie Minions and Despicable Me 3, I started to lose a lot of faith in the Minions brand. But Rise of Gru was actually really good. So I was curious to see the Despicable Me 4 trailer. Now this trailer focuses on Gru, the Gru aspect and the family. What I loved about the first two films, and particularly the second film, is that it's a natural story arc progression. It's a great character arc. Now this film, number four, seems to be a direct sequel to number two. It doesn't seem to reference number three at all. There's no Drew in the trailer. There's only three minions in the trailer. There's no new head of the TVA, Silas Ramsbottom. Bottom. <laughs> is in this trailer. And so I'm wondering if we're going to kind of retcon Despicable Me 3 a bit. Because, again... I don't see Drew. I don't see a lot of the minions. Now, I think all of the minions went off to be evil with Drew. And only, like, three of them stayed behind. Which is good for the normal audience who don't enjoy minion mania. But the main focus of this film, and I don't blame them, is the father-child aspect with the baby. This seems, like, very charming. It's going to be a dad. And it seems much more interesting than Despicable Me 3 was. Despicable Me 4 feels like it's needed more than the last film was. I don't know anything about the villain. All I know is that the villain's voiced by Will Ferrell. And that is fantastic because Steve Carell and Will Ferrell had a few episodes in The Office together. So that would be a reunion and a rivalry there. Do I want Drew to show up in this film? No, not really. But am I okay with three minions? Yeah, I'm fine with three minions. Dr. Nefario being frozen in Carbonite, fine with that too. Like, those characters were never the standout of the franchise. Standout of the franchise were Gru, the Gulls, and after number two, obviously, Lucy. But guys, what did you think about the Despicable Me 4 trailer? I know I'm so late, it came out a week ago, but I did want to talk about it. It looks great. It looks to be of that calibre of Despicable Me 2. But only time will tell. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.